In this video we're going to look at coordination systems within the body. We're going to review cellular respiration and talk about the multicellular problem and the need for specialized systems. Talk about homeostasis and why we need coordination systems as well as the two methods of coordination. So you remember from previous topics that all cells gain their energy from a process called cellular respiration. Cellular respiration occurs in the mitochondria inside every cell and uses glucose and oxygen which produces water and carbon dioxide and energy in the form of ATP. For single celled organisms it's easy for them to get the nutrients that they need so for example the sugar and the oxygen into the cell, so into the cytoplasm of the cell to get to the mitochondria. These nutrients can diffuse through the cell membrane. Once we start getting multicellular organisms together, so more than one cell, some of that cell membrane ends up getting covered by the ones on the outside of it. So it's harder for the nutrients to get all the way inside to all the cells in this organism. So therefore, we have specialized systems. So the cells start specializing and we start getting systems forming. So some of these systems might be circulatory systems to move those nutrients around to all the cells, the respiratory system to get the oxygen from the outside of the body, inside the body, and the digestive system to break down food into the glucose for that respiration. So all these specialized systems work side by side in a multicellular organism such as a human in order to keep all the cells in that organism alive. Homeostasis is the maintenance of a constant internal environment despite a changing external environment. What this means is that for these reactions to occur, for example, a re respiration to occur inside the cells, the cells have to stay at a constant internal environment, which is conducive for those reactions to occur. So it doesn't matter whether it gets hotter or colder outside of the organism, the cells need to stay at the same temperature for these reactions to occur efficiently. There's a whole heap of processes within the body that are maintained through homeostasis. Some of the processes in the blood or that, that maintain a constant environment in the blood uh, include the maintenance of temperature, salt levels, oxygen, glucose and acidity. So all these things are controlled and as part of the homeostasis throughout the body. So we've got all these different systems with their specialized function. These systems need to be coordinated as well as coordinating for homeostasis to occur within the body. So for this to occur, there needs to be a control center which is controlling this homeostasis or this system as well as communication between the different parts of that system. There are two main methods of communication. The first one, the nervous system, uses electrochemical impulses to communicate between different organs of the body and does so very quickly. The endocrine system, on the other hand, works much more slowly and uses chemical messengers called hormones to communicate between the different organs within a system. Some of the organs in the endocrine system include the brain and different parts of the brain such as the pituitary gland and hypothalamus as well as the adrenal glands, pancreas, thyroid, thymus and the sex organs, the ovaries or testes depending on your sex. In this video we've revised cellular respiration, the way that all cells get their energy by breaking down glucose in the presence of oxygen. We've talked about how it's hard for those cells inside a multicellular organism to get nutrients from the outside, so therefore specialized systems are required. We've talked about the maintenance of a constant internal environment through homeostasis 
and how these specialised systems and homeostasis all need some sort of coordination system to occur to keep them operating correctly. And how these coordination systems communicate through either the nervous system with electrochemical impulses or the endocrine system using chemical messengers or hormones.